to access free topic sheets, worksheets or to book an online class, visit ilearneasy.co.uk Eukaryotic cells, prokaryotic cells In this video, we will learn the difference between these two types of cells. Eukaryotic cells These are big and complex cells. The genetic material of eukaryotic cells are enclosed in a nucleus. They also have a cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm and other membrane-bound organelles. Animals and plants are examples of eukaryotes. Eukaryotes can be unicellular or multicellular organisms. Prokaryotic cells. These are small and simple cells. The genetic material of a prokaryotic cell are not enclosed in a nucleus. The genetic material is either in a loop or small rings of DNA. They are free-floating in the cell. They also have a cell wall, cell membrane, cytoplasm, but no membrane-bound organelles. Bacteria is an example of a prokaryote. Prokaryotes are unicellular organisms. This means that they are single-celled. Both animal and plant cells are eukaryotic cells. These are complex cells in which the genetic material is enclosed in a nucleus. They both have organelles. These are structures that perform different functions within the cells. Animal cells have irregular shapes. They contain a nucleus, cell membrane, cytoplasm, mitochondria and ribosomes. The nucleus contains genetic material. This controls the cell's activities. The cell membrane controls the movement of substances that go in and out of the cell. It's able to do this because it has a structure that is permeable to some substances and not others. You can think of it as a gatekeeper. The cytoplasm is a jelly-like material that contains nutrients, salts and other membrane-bound organelles. Many chemical reactions also occur in the cytoplasm. For example, the chemical reaction of respiration in mitochondria. Mitochondria are known as the powerhouses of the cell. They contain enzymes for aerobic respiration and this is where most energy is released from respiration. Ribosomes are small organelles found in the cytoplasm where protein synthesis occurs. Now we have learned the basic structure of animal cells. It's important to remember that not all animal cells look the same. The reason for this is because animal cells are specialised for their functions. For example, red blood cells. These cells have a biconcave shape and no nucleus. The reason for this is because it provides a larger surface area in order for the red blood cells to absorb and to carry oxygen in the blood. They also have no nucleus. They are also small and flexible so they can be carried through blood vessels. Sperm cells. Sperm cells function is to transfer genes from a male's body to a female gamete. Sperm cells have a tail which allows them to swim towards the egg cell and it contains many mitochondria to supply ATP for energy. The head of a sperm cell also contains enzymes. These enzymes are released to help break through the outer membrane of egg cells. Plant cells usually have a regular shape. They contain a nucleus, cell membrane, cytoplasm, mitochondria 
and ribosomes. However, they also contain other structures that are only found in plant cells. These include cell wall, chloroplast and a vacuole. The cell walls are made from cellulose fibres. The cell wall surrounds the cell membrane. It strengthens the cell and provides support for the plant. Chloroplasts are organelles that contain green pigment. The green pigment is called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll absorbs light energy for photosynthesis. It also contains enzymes required for photosynthesis to take place. Plant cells also have a permanent vacuole. This is filled with fluid or cell sap. The vacuole provides structure for the cell and the plant. The vacuole also stores sugars. Now we have learnt the basic structure of plant cells. It's important to remember that not all plant cells look the same. The reason for this is because plant cells are specialised for their functions. For example, phloem cells. These are plant cells that build the transport system for sugars. Their cell walls have holes at each end in order to allow sugar to move from one cell to the next cell. Xylem cells. These are plant cells that build the transport system for water and mineral salts. These cells are strengthened with a hard substance called lignin. The reason for this is because it helps the cell withstand changes in the pressure of water.